Cemetery is because there's a lot of reported activity here on every paranormal website that we could find. Uh, there are stories. Now, hauntedindiana.com has this story for Paul Ruster Park Cemetery. Many years ago, a little boy was killed um, by the nearby train tracks. He's now buried in the foundation of his old house, which we're standing at. And many people say that if you walk the long path through the woods to his grave, you can hear the boy playing a harmonica. Others are reported seeing a ghostly young boy walking down the road. We just came down the path. Uh, didn't hear any harmonica, but the problem is, is that there's a lot of traffic over here. So there are other paths that we can take that we're going to try to get some noises off of, recorded digitally. Um, of course, we have to take our travel bags here because we don't have a base of operations or anything to set up really anything because it's all just outside. It is really hot and sticky out here today, um, but it's early evening so we're currently at the site of the old foundation that has some grave markers uh, we're gonna head in take some pictures try to get into the woods see what we find uh, another group any ghost hunters came through here and uh, got some really good EVP work going they got um, interesting sounds so We decided to visit the grave of John W. King, born 1881 and died in 1893 at only 12 years old. We thought maybe we could do some EVP, see if we could get any spikes, and see what kind of happened. We were placing the camera to try and catch anything that would happen around the grave or maybe behind us in the woods. The interesting thing about this investigation is we typically do our investigations at night. We really wanted to be in this place after dark, uh, but this is a state park in Indiana, and it's only open until dusk. John, is that you? Because you're making this spike now. What you're seeing here is Jay, uh, one of our lead investigators. She is using the K2 yes mirror. It's a new piece of equipment that we required because we wanted to test it out and see if it actually does work. Uh, this is the same piece of equipment we see tabs used on the Manson case as well as Chris Fleming use all the time. Uh, Luke, why don't you tell everybody what the difference is between the K2 meter and the commonly used EMF detectors that we see all the time. Well, Tobin, there's not too much difference between this particular EMF detector and all the other ones in the field that most paranormal investigators use. Uh -huh. uh, typically, this one has the LEDs, which also the electro sensor, which you see on the screen right now, it uses, uh, which makes it really easy to read at night. Also, Chris Fleming, he believes that the uh, spirits are able to uh, train themselves to communicate with this particular device because of its ability to be so sensitive. Okay, well it's going to be fun to take this piece of equipment out in the field on the investigations and either prove or disprove the use of it, and hopefully we'll have good evidence to do that with in the future. I just flashed twice. <laughs> you just, like Jay? Two for yes, once for no. Flash twice. You like Jay? Well, it's still flashing. It's still flashing. It's not really consistent we don't really understand as the quest research team of investigators walked down the path to the former home and current resting place of john w king also the location of numerous paranormal accounts they began to get strange readings on their emf detectors unexplained spikes of tumuli gauss and above were found on two separate occasions hovering and circling the same location pending further investigation of buried power lines and possible natural causes. However unlikely in these woods, will be needed to further understand these unusual readings. Oh, I got the rest of it. 
hate spiders. Right at this point, Luke, Jay, and myself had all uh, witnessed something moving in the woods. As for what it was, we weren't sure, but we did know that all three of us had uh, had witnessed something moving. So uh, Luke decided to go into the woods to investigate. We lost contact with him for a little bit, but he did come back and gave us a little bit more information. something to take with me. Camera here. Take that. Work. I'm getting a spike. Power is... You want to follow me in or you want me to take it with me? Take it with you. You got the camera. I can go with you if you want me to. Uh, I'm not worried about it. Who's that uh, looker right there? What? Who was that looker there on the camera? Oh, I don't know. It's just turned... I don't know. Heading in. We just saw a movement in the woods. It's pretty dense and thick in there. It's not a place that people would normally just kind of hang out. Jay and I are wearing shorts, but uh, part of the story is is that uh, it John... It was only about 25 feet back. Right, yeah. The story is John doesn't like a lot of people together in groups. Ow. Wrong way. Wrong way? I'm seeing thorns everywhere, dude. Well, it, you are, it's not too far much in front of you. 